Yeah. Uh, let's uh, get a look at the morning's papers. Michael is uh, still with us. Uh, new contracts all round at the Etihad, Michael. Uh, potentially, Rob. Yes, of course. We're waiting for the official confirmation on Pep Guardiola's contract extension. Stay with us throughout the day on Sky Sports News for news on that. And, of course, we'll be speaking to Pep Guardiola in his news conference tomorrow. But, yes, in the sun, the back page today, potentially more good news for Manchester City and exclusive from Martin Blackburn. Golden Luke's Haaland's £100 million deal. Uh, Manchester City stepping up their efforts to, to get an extension for Erling Haaland to stay at least one more year to boost their chances and agree a £100 million mega package. He's been a phenomenal signing, hasn't he, uh, for Manchester City, Erling Haaland. There's always been that talk about his next move. Is it potentially Real Madrid in a few years' time? Well, Manchester City want to stop that and tie him down and what would be an incredible few weeks if that were to happen and Pep Guardiola's was to be confirmed as well. Moving on, Michael, could it be a decisive weekend for West Ham? It's not been the greatest start for West Ham and Julian Lopetegui. Of course, they made that decision uh, to make a change after a great few years under David Moyes. And they brought in a lot of new signings and new signings take time to gel. However, this is the Premier League. There's always pressure in Premier League football. And they say that he's under serious pressure now, Julian Lopetegui. And they've got Newcastle on Monday. Then they host Arsenal on Saturday week. And, they, and the newspaper, Jack, yeah, Jacob Steinberg here, says that his future could be decided in those next two games. I want to flip it around on a positive as well. It'd be great for him if West Ham get two good results from that as well. So we'll wait and see two big games for him. But of course, they'll have uh, their captain, Jarrod Bowen, I'm sure in a good mood and in good form as well after scoring for England last Sunday. Uh, the big news of the day though, Michael, is, is footballing superheroes. Away you go. This is the story you all wanted this morning. <laughs> on your Thursday morning, Back to Manchester City. But a bit more light-hearted, everyone, OK? City set to launch a TV show for kids. We're going to potentially get Pep Guardiola in cartoon form and Erling Haaland. It's in a bid to attract uh, new supporters, get young fans engaged with Manchester City Football Club to grow their fan base. So we've got cartoon players coming, cartoon head coaches coming. So this morning, throughout the morning on Sky Sports News, we've been asking you for your sporting cartoon themes. Uh, I've got Hugh Minion Song, G.I. Joe Gomez, Luke Shaw Patrol, yeah? Um, Feynman Sam Allardyce. Hey, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Isn't it a shame the Sports Journalist Awards have gone already? You know, <laughs> so I think I've missed out. Yeah, you'll be waiting by the, waiting by the door for anyone, any updates on that. I'm going to chuck another one into the mix from the wonderful Hayley McQueen, who's on the way at 10 o'clock this morning. Captain Marvel, reference, of course, to the great Brian Robson of Manchester United. Not a pun. Nice. Cleverer, as you'd expect from McQueen. But one more. It's oh. not a cartoon. Thomas the Frank Engine. Oh. What do you mean it's not a cartoon? Well, it's not actually a cartoon, is it? Isn't it? No. Oh, it might be an animated version. Yeah, I'll stick with that then. I like that <laughs> I, one. I like Bugs Bunny Shaw. Bugs Bunny Shaw. Yeah. There we go. Keep them coming. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> please. Please do. That's me. The hashtag is GMSF for more of this uh, TV gold. That'll do you for the hour, Michael. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Off you go. Thanks. It's fine. Take your papers under your arm and clear off. <laughs>